Hey, today I'm at Inala and I'm gonna do a bit of street photography. Now normally Inala is a bit of a challenge for me. I don't know why, but I really struggle to take good street photos here. Um, it shouldn't be so because it's it's got such a unique blend of cultures uh, in the people that come here. And it's also the hub for the Vietnamese community. So there's a lot of visual stuff going on and really interesting people as well. But I always struggle. I think because for me, street photography is kind of a bit of a blend between people and environment and the environment is visually just not that great but this time of year is a special time of year when all of that changes you see this time of year is lunar new year now don't call it chinese new year because although it originated in china uh, it's actually evolved into something quite different in a lot of east asian countries where it's celebrated so for example in china it's chun Tia, which is spring festival in vietnam it's Tet and uh, in Korea it's something like Seoul, I don't know how to pronounce that but it's in each country it's got its own unique traditions and so in Inala because it's the center of the Vietnamese community you see a lot of symbols of the festival such as Mayflower which uh, every Vietnamese family has to have at least some Mayflowers in their home during that so suddenly there's all of these extra visual things there's people buying flowers there's a whole lot more fruit on display because people have to display fruit in their homes during this festival and so it gives a lot more to work with visually that normally isn't here so hopefully i can come up with some good photos today let's uh, see what happens <laughs> So I'm just outside one of the fruit markets where you can see a whole heap of fruit out on display. And that's just for this time of year that it's really quite colorful and vibrant. Um, and it even includes some fruit that you don't normally see here at Inala, like Buddha's hand. And uh, these have special significance during this festival. And it creates a really interesting backdrop for street photography. This is another great spot because behind me there's a shop that sells all kinds of decorations for the festival, uh, especially Mayflowers. So as the people are going by, it creates this really bright, vibrant, colorful kind of background. And another thing that makes it really cool is that a lot of the ladies that go by have flower dresses, flower designs on their dresses. So um, that kind of can combine to make some interesting shots as well. So we'll see what happens here. And I figured I'd go through the photos out here in the living area slash kitchen so that you could see our fruit display here and our Mayflower and peach blossoms. Yes, my wife is Vietnamese, so today we're celebrating Lunar New Year and today is the day. So hopefully I can get this video uploaded so it's still actually on Lunar New Year. But uh, let's look at the photos. So I thought I'd start with the fruit market photos. So with the fruit market photos, I was really just looking for something that was quite striking visually. I wasn't looking to try and tell any kind of story or anything like that. So I just thought the colors of the fruit would just be so strong and vibrant. And if I could get some interesting looking people somehow interacting with that scene, maybe I'd get some interesting photos. So it's not about really telling any kind of story. So this one here, uh, I actually saw this woman walking towards the market with her bright pink hat. And I'm like, yes, because that was the visual element that I was really looking for. Something really strong and striking that could offset that, that strong, striking, vibrant, colorful fruit that was there. Um, and so I just wanted to position somebody in the light so i could use the shadows to bring a bit of drama to the scene and just use the, the the areas that were getting hit by the light to really pop out from that dark background uh, it's kind of a bit of a trademark of mine so now i don't think that this image is really perfect um, because her outline isn't really distinct enough to see the figure clearly um, and it's a little bit messy compositionally but it's okay. 
I actually think compositionally, this one is a little bit better. Um, again, it's just a person walking. And that's one of the critiques that people often have, one of the criticisms people often have of street photography. Photographs is, oh, this one, it's just somebody walking. That may be the case. But if you're creating something that is visually interesting, then the story isn't as important. A lot of people may say that, oh no, there needs to be a, a depth and a story and, and something deeper than just that visual element. But for me, street photography is a little bit like still life paintings or, or you know, paintings of where you're, you're seeing an entire scene and there's not necessarily anything happening, there's not necessarily a story, but there's just something about it visually that you connect with. It makes you feel something but it's not necessarily telling you anything. It's really connecting more with your emotions than your intellect. Um, but that's just me, you know, different people have different views. But this one, yeah, I don't mind it. Um, I just think that that woman completes the scene. It's like, yes, the picture, you know, that the fruit may be somewhat interesting, but just with that human element, it kind of, it brings us something more to connect with than just Fruit. All right, what else do we got? Ah, uh, yes, this one. I was actually really happy when I saw that guy standing where he was standing. I'm like, okay, the light's hitting him. Uh, he's got that crazy bleached hair that's really going to come out of the shadows. And uh, I don't think I got the perfect moment here. Um, he's actually sniffing one of those Buddha hand fruits. But uh, yeah, I, I think visually it's, it's not too bad. Hey. It's okay. So there was one photo that I took that was perhaps more documentary in style in that I was more interested in actually showing the scene and, and telling a bit of a story of the person interacting with the scene rather than just how it looked visually. And that was this one of the woman who worked at the market actually laying out the dragon fruit. Um, so this is really, it's more a, a, a scene, a slice of life and less focused on being visually striking and more on just capturing a little bit of the story. So I was thinking about this when I moved on to the market that was selling all the decorations and the flowers. And I thought, okay, maybe I do want to be sure that I'm capturing a little bit of the scene, a little bit of the, uh, how busy it is actually during uh, the lead up to Lunar New Year and that there's, you know, there's lots of people, it can be quite tight at times. I'm like, okay, well, I do need to not just look for those visually beautiful images, but also some that communicate a little bit of the feel of being in that place. And I think this one does it reasonably. Uh, you can see how tight it is. The people have interest, you know, their faces are interesting. The light is uh, falling in a beautiful way and you can see the setting of the Mayflowers that are on sale But you still you get a sense of the, the dynamism and the energy of the place at the time So yeah, that one's all right And I thought also about communicating a little bit of how multicultural Inala is People often think of the Vietnamese community when they think of Inala but actually there's a lot of people, a lot of Chinese people who shop at Inala. There's also a lot of people from African and Middle Eastern backgrounds. And so I, I was mindful when I was photographing of capturing a little bit of that as well some, somehow in my photos. And so this one I feel does that where you can see the different ethnicities and, and, and fashions that are related to the cultures in this one. Um, it's not really an amazing photo compositionally, but in terms of giving a little bit of a feeling of the multiculturalism of Inala, I think it works. What else? Oh yes, and then this one. This is one that, it's, it's the kind of photo where I, I really wish I'd done a better job of capturing, but when things just come together nicely. This woman walking by with a dress with yellow flowers, green dress, yellow flowers, walking by the green and yellow decorations for Lunar New Year. And I'm like, oh, so perfect. I don't think I was, you know, positioned in the best way. Um, I, I don't think I picked the absolute perfect moment, but 
there's definitely that connection between the person and their environment that is the kind of thing that I often look for when I'm doing street photography. I feel that oh, I could have done better, but it is what it is. And then one of my favorites from the flower market is I saw this kid here and he was just looking like a boss sitting there in the trolley with his cool reflective sunglasses on. And I just had to take a shot. And I like this image because not only do I find the main subject, that boy, interesting visually and, and the kind of that attitude that you kind of see, but also the different elements in the scene work together as well. I think that, that just that little bit of that woman at the front that gives a bit of depth to the image because we've got something a bit closer to the lens. So we move from her hand and, and her body to the kid moving back deeper into the scene. And then you've got the other people at the shop and the flowers, which are even further back. So it gives you that depth in the photograph. And just, I think it works quite nicely. And then is that all the ones from the market? I mean, you've got this one here as well, which, you know, also gives a sense of the scene. Um, but I just wish that the light had been working in different ways to, you know, have a, a little bit more detail of the woman's eyes and the top of her face and a little bit more of those people in the background. But it still does give you the feel of Inala. And so in that way, it's successful, I suppose. Compositionally, not the most amazing picture, but yeah, you can feel Inala in this picture. And so I took some other photos that were just random people that caught my eye because I find that I sometimes get so hung up on creating a whole scene that I lose that eye for interesting faces, gestures, you know, people who just have interest in themselves, uh, even though it may, may not be the best composition overall. So, um, you know, this woman here, working at a shop that sells one of my favorite Vietnamese dishes. I may do a video on that another time. Um, you know, just sitting, waiting for customers. It's a nice, quiet scene. And I like just the way the colors all work together. She's an interesting character as well. So yeah, it's not a write home and tell your mother about kind of photo, but it's okay. And here was another guy who I thought had an interesting face. Unfortunately, it kind of looks like he's looking at me in the photo, but he actually wasn't. He was so engrossed in his conversation with his friend. But uh, yeah, an interesting character. Another, you know, a bit of Inala flavor. Of, you know, the people who are just like doing their shopping, catching up with old friends that they run into. Yeah. Uh, this one I also kind of liked um, because of the connection between the the, the flowers on the woman's hat and then the flowers that she's buying and then the message on the truck in front of her saying time and money come to you which is kind of like the message of lunar new year because it's all about thinking about a prosperous new year that you know good things are going to come to you maybe money maybe you know a time with family so when i saw that time and money come to you i thought hey that's kind of cool um it's actually on one side is save time and money. On the other side, we come to you. But with this crop, you kind of read it differently. And, and that's the kind of little thing that I like about street photography is where you can do that. You can choose a framing that changes the message. It changes the way that you read the scene. So yeah, I mean, compositionally, again, it's a messy shot, not really amazing, but you know, there are things to like about it. And then finally, this moment of people, you know, um, this was people working for one of the small shops and they, were, they had a trolley loaded up with watermelons and the guy was throwing the watermelons to the guy in the shop to lay out for display. And uh, I was kind of partly wondering if disaster would happen because that might make for some interesting photos. Not wishing for it. I never wish bad for people. But it would have been made an interesting photo. But anyway, um, yeah, I, I didn't actually have time to get my settings right for this one. What I should have done was stopped to a wider aperture 
so that I could sort of make a much shallower depth of field because the background is so clotted and there's not really a way I could have positioned myself to simplify the scene and not have that cluttered background, which is quite distracting. Um, but because this, I, I only spotted it when they were on their last watermelon. I just was walking along. I looked up, I saw it happening. All I had time to do was just to raise a camera and get the shot while the watermelon was in midair. Um, I didn't have time to change any settings. So unfortunately, this is not what it could be um, because I feel that it's just so much going on that it's such a cluttered scene that you don't really see the two guys and the watermelon, which is the, 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 the thing you want people looking at. So again, this is a near miss. Um, could have been something more. But in any case, I got some kind of interesting photos it wasn't a complete disaster going to Inala to try and get photos. And a lot of what I have to thank for that is Lunar New Year because there was just so much more fruit. There's so many more flowers and colors and so many more people. And just the vibe of the scene was just so much more lively than Inala usually is. So it did make it a little bit easier. Did I get any portfolio photos on that day? Not really, no. But you know, I had a nice time, captured a bit of the essence of Inala during Spring Festival. And so that's about it. Coming up is probably going to be my battle with Rory Barron, where we're going to compete doing street photography. So that will be interesting to see if, what different take a landscape photography has when he approaches street photography. He's a little nervous, but I'm sure he's going to do okay. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, because these videos are just going to get better. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.